Hello students, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to discuss the Cisco Service Oriented Network Architecture SONA of Unit 1, B, 7th Semester Information Technology, University of Mumbai. <music> In this lecture, we are going to discuss business drivers for a new network architecture, intelligence in the network, and SONA framework. Business drivers for a network architecture. Here we show different uh, generation of uh, business, mainframe computer, client server computer, internet, and real-time infrastructure. New business requirement, the growth of application, and the evaluation of IT combined drives to need for a new network architecture. In today's business environment, intense competition and time to market pressure are prompting enterprise to look for new IT solution that can help them better respond to market and customer demands. Customers are asking for new products and services offering and they want them fast. They are also demanding improved customer services, enhanced customization, flexibility and greater security all at a lower cost modern network connects multiple resources and information assets within the organization as well as provide access to external resources this environment the it model has evolved from mainframe to client server to internet to real-time infrastructure which is shown in this figure the cisco version of next phase of it evolution is a real-time infrastructure that integrates the network and the application as one system organizations are finding that networking is no longer just about connectivity rather network intelligence is starting to play a key role in improving business performance and processes intelligence enhances the network's role as a foundation for enabling communication collaboration and business success with increased awareness of the application that operate on network foundation the network becomes an active participant in application network management business system and service to enable them to work better the network is the single element single com common element that connects and enables all components of it infrastructure intelligence in the network integrating intelligence into network involves aligning network and business requirement to accommodate today's tomorrow's network requirement the cisco version of the future includes the intelligence information network that is iin a strategy that addresses how the network is integrated with businesses and business priorities this version encompasses these many features first feature is integration of network resources and information asset that have been largely unlinked the modern converged network with integrated voice video and data require that it department and other department traditionally responsible for other technologies more closely link the it infrastructure with the network second is intelligence across multiple products and infrastructure layers the intelligence built in each component of the network is extended network wide and applies end to end third is active participant uh, participation of the network in the delivery of services with added intelligence it is possible for network to actively manage monitor and optimize services and application delivery across the entire and IT environment the intelligence network offers much more than basic connectivity bandwidth for users and access to application it offers end-to-end -end functionality and centralized unified control that promotes true business transparency and agility with the technology vision Cisco helping organization address new IT challenge such as the deployment of service oriented architecture web services and virtualization this vision offers an evolutionary approach that consists of three phases in which functionality can be added 
to the infrastructure as required the three phases are integrated uh, network enabled application virtualized resource and services and in intelligent movement of data voice video across a system so phase 1 is known as integrated transport phase 2 is known as integrated services and phase 3 is known as integrated application so what is coming under phase 1 that is integrated transport everything data voice and video consolidate onto an ip network for secure network convergence by integrating data voice and video transport into a single standard based modular network organization can simplify network management and generate enterprise wide efficiencies network convergence also lays the foundation for new class of ip enabled application known as cisco unified communication solutions second phase is virtualized resource and services when the network infrastructure is converged it resources can be pooled and shared or virtualized to flexibly address the changing need of the organization by extending the virtualization concept to encompass server storage and network elements and organization can transparently use all its resources more efficiently business connect continuity is also enhanced because in the event of local system failure shared resources across the intelligent network can provide needed services this and the third phase is integrated application the applications are integrated different different applications are integrated for uh, the purpose of like uh, application level security application network services make it possible for network to simplify the application infrastructure by intelligent intelligence application manage message handling optimization and security into existing network the cisco sona framework the cisco sona framework is an architecture that illustrates how to build integrated system and guide the evaluation of enterprise towards more intelligent network using sona framework enterprise can improve flexibility and increase efficiency by optimizing application business process and resource it enables it to have a greater effort on business so this is the uh, architecture sona architecture where application layer integrated service layer and networking infrastructure layer so this networking infrastructure layer is associated with infrastructure like server storage and clients and these are the places in network while the integrated service layer is associated with application networking services and infrastructure services adaptive management services this is uh, combined as adaptive management services while application layer is divided as business application and collaboration application and in between these two uh, applications the collaboration layer is also there so let us discuss each uh, layer in detail first is network infrastructure layer where all it resources are interconnected across the converged network foundation the it resources include server storage and client the network infrastructure layer represent how these resources exist in different places in the network including the campus branch data center enterprise edge van metropolitan area network and with the teleworkers the objective of this layer is to provide connectivity anywhere anytime second thing is interactive service layer interactive service layer include both application networking services and infrastructure services this layer enables efficient allocation of resources to application and business process delivered through the network infrastructure so what are the different different services with this interactive service layer first thing is voice and collaboration services voice and collaboration services second thing is mobility services mobility services third thing is wireless services wireless services next is security and identity services security 
and identity services next is storage services next one is compute services next is application networking services application networking services next is network infrastructure virtualization network infrastructure virtualization next is quality of services next is adaptive network management services adaptive network management services one more is high availability high availability and last but not least is ip multi class ip multi class so these are the services offered by integrated service layer now come to application layer this layer includes business application okay and collaboration application the objective of this layer to meet business requirement and achieve efficiencies by leveraging the interactive service layer this layer includes instant messaging uh, different different functionalities are available with this layer so what is this first thing is instant messaging instant messaging second is cisco unified contact center cisco unified contact center next is cisco ip communicator and cisco unified cisco ip communicator and cisco unified cisco unified ip phones next service offered by the same layer is cisco unified meeting place cisco unified meeting place and video delivery using digital media system next is here in the same video delivery using cisco digital media system and last is ip telephony so these are the functions offered by application layer so so here you can see that how these uh, cisco sona offerings different different services in previous slide we have uh, gone in abstract model now this gives you a complete picture that how uh, this service these services are deployed whether it is campus wide branch wide data center enterprises van and man teleworker and the places like server storage clients so this is coming under these are the infrastructures actually and now come to adaptive management services so already discussed in previous slide so this is just diagram security service mobility services storage services voice and collaboration services compute services identity services so service virtualization is there and service management so this is interactive service layer here in application layer the business applications are separated by uh, and collaborated by this collaboration layer instant messaging unified messaging cisco unified meeting place 
video delivery, IP phone, Cisco Unified contact center. So uh, in examination, you can uh, design this diagram. You can draw this diagram and get the good marks. So uh, because this diagram is complete, what are the services offered by Sona and what are the different layers associated with Cisco Sona architecture? Now discuss, let us discuss what are the key benefit of uh, Sona architecture. First thing is functionality. It supports the organization's organizational uh, requirement. Second thing is scalability. This is uh, different. Suppose the system is growing, uh, systems architecture is uh, growing faster. Support growth and expansion of organization task by separating functions and products into layers. This separation makes it easier to grow the network. Third is availability. Provides the necessary services, reliability anywhere, anytime. Performance. Provides the desired responsiveness, throughput, and utilization. What are the things? Responsive. Responsiveness. throughput and utilization these are the metrics coming under performance on a per application basis through the network infrastructure and services fifth is manageability Provides control, performance monitoring, and fault detection. Control, performance monitoring, and fault detection. Sixth is efficiency. See, this is performance and this is efficiency. So efficiency provides the required network services and infrastructure with reasonable operational cost, appropriate capital investment on migration path to more intelligent network through step-by-step -step network service growth. And seventh is security. Provides an efficient balance between usability and security while protecting information assets and infrastructure from inside and outside threats. So with this, this particular topic is completed. In this lecture, we have covered business drivers for new network architecture, intelligence in the network, SONA framework and benefit of SONA. In next video, we can take care about network design methodology. Thank you all.